Hi guys, this is Kelly, also known on Twitter as KellyAnn1977. And as you can see, I cut my hair probably about three weeks ago, and it was really short, and I was all the way down here. Um, and I really can't do much with the bangs. They end up with the humidity um, getting heavy and just sticking to my forehead. It's very annoying, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. If anybody has any ideas, a product I could use, or anything else, please let me know in the comments below. It would be highly appreciated. Um, the only time my bangs look decent is right after I shampoo and condition, and I can't do that every day. <laughs> if I do that, I get really bad dandruff, and my hair gets really, really dry if I wet it too much, so I can't. Um, but I'm going to turn the camera around, and uh, today, what is today? <laughs> today is June 6th. I believe it's going to be posted today, so I do believe today is June 6th. Um, and this is Peppy Fatso Dudo. She's, she's very exhausted. It's uh, 79 here right now, but it feels like it's 84. And I live on a second floor, so it's a little bit warmer. We only have fans, no AC. And, uh, if she allows me to, it, that's her, stop pep, that's her stitches. Uh. Yeah, look at the face she makes. She's like, what are you doing to me? What is that thing? I don't like it. it smells funny. So she's rocking... Her um, Red Deb Redemption 2 uh, handkerchief today from my collectible box from a few years ago. I gave it to her. I wasn't going to do anything with it, but keep it in the box. She loves it. So, uh, yeah, she had her surgery uh, three weeks ago. Um, she took her medicine for the five days, her painkillers. She took two a day. Uh, we wrapped it up in cheese and gave it to her. And she's the funniest dog because she will watch you put the pill in the cheese and wrap it up. And she will still eat it. But if you give her the pill as a little treat, she will spit it out. She really is a funny, funny, funny dog. So we got some stuff in the mail today. And my husband did a bet thing um, from some model kit things. And uh, it was supposed to be free shipping and handling. Well, we had to pay $4.50 because for people who do not know, you cannot send it like this. This is not considered one item. For some reason, the post office where this gentleman's from let it go. But when it came to my post office in Vermont, they... They stopped it, and then I got a pink slip, um, but the mailman was still outside. He was training somebody, so I was able to go out there and see what was going on, and luckily, I had $4.50 in quarters on me so that my husband could get his stuff instead of it going back and then have him go pick it up Monday. Um, the other, This is also part of the order. Um, he sent these correctly. This, this is a no-no. This is two items, not one. So the guy now owes us $4.50 because shipping and handling was included. Um, so my husband will take care of that when he gets back. He went to go visit his mother. Uh, today is Saturday. And I was able to vacuum all these areas with the hardwood floor. And I was able to wash them today. It's very hard to do this stuff when my husband's here because he always wants to come out. And he needs coffee. or He needs a, a candy. He needs... He needs a tic tac. Uh, he needs. He's got hot burn. He needs to go to the bathroom, and he's just always in my way that I can't get my stuff done. I did a little dusting. Um, we've been trying to keep up on the dishes because I don't know what it is in this apartment on the second floor. Um, we always seem to get a, some water bugs, especially in the bathroom. Um, I've showed you it's going to be dark right now, but I've showed you the bathroom before. It's really a little tiny thing, as you can see. 
you can only fit this this is uh kind of where we try to put all our stuff for the bathroom um and we have a little fan up there but that doesn't do much um because we get i don't know if you can pick it yeah you can see it on the camera those are all like the water coming down and drying um and this is a very old sink i've never seen anything like that before um so we get a lot of water bugs coming from the bathroom and then they get attracted to our sink so i'm just soaking some dishes um so what i do is once i wash these dishes i clean the inside of this with either a face cloth or a paper towel and then when you run the water you have to tap it so i'll show you turn it on turn it off it doesn't have a thing in there i can stick my finger in there so if you tap it it kind of like drips if, the more you run it the more it will come out um so the guy told us before we wipe it just tap it a few times which can be a pain in the butt um so we're trying to not have a lot of water bugs up here this year the past two years were ridiculous and i can't believe that the people who lived here with a little child when they moved the child was two i can't imagine that we are the only ones that have all these kind of problems um and then her doorknob came off a couple months ago. Um, so we just put that in there, a little bag, because we started to see hornets in the house. So apparently they were coming through that little hole right there. Um, because of the kind of doorknob it is, we're going to have to go to the hardware store and order it. <laughs> the landlord doesn't want to do it herself because... She doesn't want to order the wrong thing and have to return it. That's happened a couple of times with our door. Um, before we moved in, the people who lived here broke the outside of the door and never told the landlord because their door locked. And apparently it locked behind them somehow and they broke in and they broke the lock and then the door wouldn't stay shut and our dog got loose twice. So the new door that she has now does not have a lock on it and I wanted to have a lock so that I could open and leave my door open in the kitchen to cool off. I'm not going to leave my kitchen door open when that door does not lock. I don't feel comfortable. Um, so it would be nice because we get a nice breeze at night, you know, for a couple hours to cool off the kitchen after we cook. Can't do that. And then as you can see, I can see outside this, but you can't see inside. I love these things. They're thermal. Um, I chose the black for in here. It kind of looks blue when the sun's out. My husband has one. This They only come with one now, so these were the last two packs. And this one's a brown color. So I figured if he gets too hot during the day, because he gets a lot of sun here during the day, he can just sh close them, and it keeps the heat out. And then you can see out, and nobody can see in. Um, so if you want to put a couple of them up and walk around naked, nobody's going to see you. <laughs> just saying. Um, so yeah, I mean, for the most part, we try to, like, I reorganize this twice now, because papers and stuff, and this has been reorganized, there's not too much I can really do here, uh, you know, paper, and we just don't have a lot of space, that is our freezer, that's the only dresser that we have, it's the only dresser we can really fit in, I don't want to end up putting another dresser over here. Uh, eventually I'll get to taking down that playpen and putting it in the closet when I have a good day. And then I dusted all this and reorganized all this. Um, but, you know, it's roomy, but it's not roomy because it's long and then it's short over here. And as you can see, I had to put down my old house robe for the summertime because the zipper broke. And if I don't put it like this, I come falling this way or I go backwards um, because the house isn't even. You can kind of see it on the TV, on the TV, on the table, how it goes like that. So I, I gotta do something with this area again. I get, I get it uncluttered and then it looks like this a month later. But Peppy's area looks good. She's got a toys there, little bears, and she, she's got a pig my mom gave her. She's, she's a half an individual dog. Um, so our bed is fixed. They had to sand the second leg underneath the bed for some reason. And I'm not very happy with that because 
once you sand it, you, you take off all the coating that protects it. And, you know, that's a $600 frame. Now I feel like it's ruined because for them to fix it, instead of just giving us a new one, um, they had to sand it. They drilled the legs. The legs will not close up by themselves anymore. They drilled the middle piece properly. Um, and then they put like an inch and a half of this thing. It's, um, it's for beds that don't need board. Um, the head, whatever those things are called, for your mattress to be on top of. My mind just went blank. Um, but it gives, a, it gives weight. It's weighted so that, you know, the frame and stuff won't move and that your, your mattress is supported because our mattress started to cave in. And we do have a 10-year warranty on it, but we have to jump through hoops to get that honored. We have to um, send pictures or a video of, the, you know, the problem with it. Um, they would have to approve. And then we would have to pay them up front to have it mailed to us, uh, FedEx. And then we would have to figure out how to get it up to, you know, to the second floor. Um, so, looks a lot better than what it did. Feels a lot better than what it did. It, it doesn't crack when you're moving anymore. I don't see any wood particles underneath the bed. Um, but, you know, for $1,200, I, I expect it not to break four months later. Um, and then we have a problem that I realized after they left, that if we ever move, um, we have to try to unscrew that. All the screws, there's like 25 screws in there now to be able to take it apart to move it. Because <laughs> now the legs don't close. And the whole point of it is that the legs close so that you can easily remove it because the frame is one piece. The headboard comes off. Um, but we're not going to get it through the door with the legs open. So I don't know what we're going to do if we ever need to move for some reason. But guess we'll come to that when we come to that so that that got done um my husband's still doing his classes over the summer I made three ASMR videos today one is with my anniversary roses that are now dead my anniversary was May 25th three years with my husband married uh, we got engaged in February so it was very soon after we got engaged, we got married. I got my ring in March, and then May 25th, we were married. And June 3rd is when we had our celebration. It was a cookout outside. Um, my brother-in-law um, did our vows for everybody to, you know, be there and see and stuff. So, uh, yep. Then I found out not only am I going to be a great aunt, my niece who is 28 in Georgia, is having a baby. And she just graduated for the second time. Um, she graduated two, about two, three years ago um, to be an ER nurse. And now she graduated to be a surgeon. So she's definitely going places. She's doing things. Um, that's good. And, you know, now she's going to have a baby. She's due in November. And my daughter-in-law, where I have a two-year-old grandson, is going on seven weeks pregnant now. So we have another baby coming. I believe it'll be about January, January, February, somewhere in there. Um, the last time she was pregnant, they were off on her due date. They said she was a month further than what she actually was. Um, so when you have ultrasound so early in your pregnancy, it they can't always determine how far along you are they really do go by the blood pregnancy test just to see where your levels are um so that's going on there they don't live out here anymore they moved but they were gonna come visit us maybe in a year year and a half i don't think that's gonna happen now <laughs> you know and unfortunately they live so far away it's about a four day trip driving i cannot go on airplanes because I have problems with my ears um, if I'm in high elevation they pop and I can bleed to death so I cannot go and do that 
I actually had to stop going on roller coasters because of it. Um, I came off a roller coaster and had blood coming out my nose and out both of my ears and we didn't know why. So, uh, for my safety, I don't do that. Um, there's really, we would have to drive two hours to the airport where the buses are to drive down there, but there's a lot of stops when you're on a bus. So it probably would take longer. Um, when they drove down there, um, they got lost a little bit, but when they drove down there, it took them about four and a half days. Um, and that's taking turns driving to people. I can't drive because of my health. So my husband would have to do all the driving. And we just, we own our truck now, so we don't want to have any extra bills or put too many miles on it and then have to go and get a new vehicle that we can't afford it right now. Um, we're trying to save that money. We paid three months up front out of our savings money for bills. So we're just replacing that money right now. So we actually won't start baking any money until probably August. So yeah, we we just want to keep it the way it is. Brand new tires. We change the sensor and the wheel. Um, the oil change. Tune up was done. Expansion was done. New batteries put in again for the second year in a row. So <laughs> we got it from our mechanic this time. So hopefully it lasts. He said it should last three years. Um, so that's what's going on there. Um, you know, just playing The Sims 3. And I'm playing My Sims now. It's kind of a little cute little kid game. Uh, the building is kind of difficult at times, but that's okay. I can handle that. Um, and I just beat um, something Orphanage um, on Steam. It's a $10 game. I uh, got three hours to play out of it. Uh, it says multiple endings, but the multiple endings is just you reloading and then choosing a different thing to do. So there's three different endings to it. But you don't have to play the whole game all over again because it's not going to change anything. It's just your decision at the end. I ended up beating three games this week and was able to get them off my system. So I'm just trying to get to the older games that I have that aren't very long and, and you know, dive into them. Um, having a hard time with my metaphors, with the sleep in and um, burning sensation all over my body. I'm itchy. I'm overheating. Uh, I have no energy. So the first thing I did today after my husband left in the afternoon, he woke me up when he left is that I just did the housework and now for the rest of the day I can just hang out and chill. Um, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon right now. Uh, so as you can see. So. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I usually go to bed between four and six a.m. I see the sun go up, I see it come back up. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. I was hoping to be able to go out today, but, you know, he wanted to let me sleep. So, you know, maybe next week. Uh, because of the epidemic and everything, I've only gone out one time since the middle of March. And, uh, you know, sitting out on the porch doesn't count. <laughs> and we got our other box. Where is it? We got our other box. For the game. Hunt a Killer. Um... We'll probably just order the next three um, instead of waiting a month for each one because you usually get one a month. But you can order it as soon as you're done with uh, your box and you'll get it within a week. And I think what we're going to do is just pick one together and just pay whatever price it is. Some of them are 100 Some of if they're older. Um, the most expensive one for all six boxes um, to complete the the episode of the game or the season uh, I saw 140 uh, it's $4 for each box if you do it this way um, so it's about $180 for the whole thing it's supposed to be six months of gameplay uh, do it once a month as a family or a party or something like that um, me, and my husband, uh, me and my husband have enjoyed it we've played about five out we've gotten about five hours out of it so far in two boxes so um, 
and we debate and he'll read one thing I'll read something else and then we we'll switch off and then I'll read what he read and, and vice versa and then we talk about it so so far we've been we've been correct of who is not the killer <laughs> and what the weapon is so that's good um, so I just think we'll pick a cheaper box maybe one that's a hundred uh, might be some a little bit cheaper um, depending how old they are before they discontinue them or I, I've caught them and uh, we'll just start with the cheaper boxes and do it that way and then we can do it when we want because we'll have all six boxes we'll save on shipping and handling we'll save about 15 bucks so on that as well um, we enjoy the game we like the game we'll do it why we have the money um, but if we ain't got the money we can't do it um, but it, it's a unique experience. If you don't know what it is, I would go to the website. It's huntakiller.com. There's videos to show you exactly how you play the game. Um, and I think it's really fun. You also get collectibles in every box. So if you wanted to do a little display somewhere of all your boxes, like put one of the boxes and then like all your collectibles, you could absolutely do that. It's worth the money. It, it, it's made very well um so that's all that's going on there's still no entertainment out here um so there's no well the ski resorts are closed but you can go there in the summertime too and you can't do that um there's no apple picking or anything like that right now blueberry picking they're not doing that there's no festivals going on um, no carnivals, uh, the circus is not coming, no concerts, um, uh, movie theaters are still closed, the bowling alley is still closed, um, so, you know, you can go to the beaches, but, um, you're being monitored and you have to stay away from other people, so you can't really enjoy yourself like that. Um, so we're just staying in. We play our games. We watch a couple programs together. My husband actually likes um, <laughs> Catfish. He likes to watch that with me. And then we started to watch an, um, Hell's Kitchen. He likes to watch that with me, but I'm very vocal during that uh, show because I took culinary arts. I have a certificate. I was a manager. I did food safety. So I have a little bit of experience doing cooking. So I get very vocal. <laughs> Especially when I see somebody pull spaghetti out of the trash can that's no good and try to use it. That's disgusting. Um, but other than that, I hope everybody has a great day. And I will talk to you again. Bye.